Hi, this is Monica Burns. I am doing this video actually for personal um, use, but am happily sharing it with others in case um, they would find it useful. I work in Juto. Um, Julian, forgive me if that's the incorrect pronunciation, um, which I absolutely love. It's a wonderful piece of formatting software. Um, if you don't have a Mac, it works great for your PC and I do not want to switch. So because the software is continuously updating um, to meet standards within the industry and different platforms that you format books for, I sometimes have to reassess what I'm doing in order to make sure that things are working properly when I format. One of those is working with style sheets and config systems or configuration files. Because the software updates, sometimes my old style sheets or my old configurations will not work and I have to make adjustments and then I'll forget how to do something. So like I said, this video is primarily for my own use, but um, if it helps you, great. First thing I'm going to do is talk about how I use styles in Word. Because when you pull a document into Juto, you want to make sure there are no empty par uh, paragraphs. In other words, you don't want to, um, let me think, click here so you can see everything. Yep. Okay. This is an empty paragraph, or rather it's two empty paragraphs. You do not want to use that um, in Juto or in any ebook formatting because it will offset or it'll make things look disjointed um, with formats that are current today. And so you want to use your styles in order to put space between things. And for an example, this is a style that I use for correspondence or something special within a book. And so obviously you can see, I only have the one return and then it starts with the salutation and there's space here. And that's because I've created a style that I applied to this particular uh, salutation that sets spacing above and be below. And the same thing for the closing line and then obviously the uh, correspondence itself. So anytime, if say I wanted to do more than one line of text, then uh, this is the second line or second paragraph. And then when I do that, I've got to reset the, the style. So that's explaining empty paragraphs, which you do not want in your book. So now I'm going to save this document and then I'm going to import it into uh, Juto. So, okay, to save you a bunch of me moving around, trying to find files, etc., cetera, um, I bypassed all that and I'm starting again and I'm now in Juto. And I am at the point where I'm creating a new project and I'm now at the single file import and the file I have is only one page. So normally I would do a split at page break, which is where I, when I compile a, a book in word, I, I separate the chapters by page breaks. So you, you will probably do something different, um, depending on what you use. And obviously you can see, I already have some styles pulled in. Anyway, when I get to this point, um, I'll check off how I want it to split up in Juto. And then I am going to make sure that I have removed unused styles and imported styles are going to override the default ones. And I'm going to click next. I'm going to use the format cover. Okay. So now you can see that I've pulled in that bogus chapter that I had and it explains um, the 
where paragraphs and so forth uh, styles are used. And over here on um, the right, I, mine always opens up in styles. Yours might open up in tools, but anyway, you can see that I have all of my particular formatted styles that are imported from Word, but it also has a whole bunch of other styles that I don't use. So what I want to do is I want to create my own personal um, style sheet that is strictly showing only my group of um, styles itself. So the way to do that, let me drop this down a little bit. Okay, I think that'll show everything. I'm only within. I apologize, my video software set a certain size and I'd have to start all over again. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> but anyway, so I want to create my own spreadsheet or style sheet for all of these fonts and everything I've set up. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to go up here to edit project uh, properties and I'm going to have to select styles and I'm going to get rid of everything here except for mine. So you're initially given default and scraps. So what I do is, is I edit these default and I just tell it, um, J2 sample styles and tell it okay. Then you can change down here your default uh, formatting if you like. I don't ever do that. Um, and just click okay. So I now then want to save the um, file on its own as its own style sheet. And what I'll do is I'll click here. And again, this may or may not work properly. I'm just telling it I want to delete everything and I'm using just the default sheet. And I'm going to click save and I just want this template to show up and then I'm going to do Juto and you're going to wind up wherever Juto is installed on your machine. It's going to have the directory where you're going to save. I have two different directories that I pull from. So sort of like Wizard of Oz, don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, sample style until it's save. So then I'm going to check again, I make sure it says style sheet and I'm going to open up that style sheet again because I want to make sure and I tell it, yes, keep existing styles. Okay. And I've made sure, all right, I now have my style sheet is saved without the default and without scraps. It's just strictly the style sheet that I want. So now I want to get rid of all of these styles that I'm not going to use. So I'll go down here and I'll click bulk style deletion. And if you only have a few of these, it's probably easier to do check all and then scroll down and just undo your particular um, styles. I believe you always have to have uh, normal font default that comes with Juto. Um, so I just uncheck that as well. And then I click OK. And because I failed to do this, I do this every time. This drives me crazy. I need to make sure that all styles, yep, I didn't select all styles. So there are still some Juto formats that come with um, the software and I don't want this at all. So again, I'm going to have to go down here. And if I had selected all styles to begin with, it wouldn't have been a problem because I would have deleted everything except for mine. And I also have characters, um, drop cap characters that I use. So it's important to make sure that everything that you have style wise that you pulled in from word shows up here until it. Okay. 
And I should also point out the reason you see J14 in numbers or whatnot is because I want to make sure that I know exactly what style I'm using in case I forget to do something properly. So I'll be able to know that J14 is body text and it's easier to find in this section here. So I'm going to then save again this Juto sample styles. Tell it yes, then tell it okay. And as you can see, everything disappeared over here in this uh, style box, except for my particular styles that I've pulled in from Word. And just to show you what will happen if you use a different style sheet, click on edit and under styles, you can do a open and I will pull in say mystery style sheet. And it didn't take. Let me take it again. And anytime I pull in a style sheet, I'm always going to say keep the existing styles because I never know if it might be something that I want to keep. So it's just easier to remove it. So it did not. Oh, it did. It's when it pulled it in, it shows up as default style sheet. So You'll need to remember that. I'll have to remember that because I don't think it used to be like that. I don't remember. But obviously this is the style sheet that I want. So I'm going to um, basically delete the style, default one and scraps so that the only thing I have left is my Juto sample styles. In order to make sure that these styles work, you also need to go to your configs file and down here where you scroll down to styles. Sometimes I will have from an old project, I'll have a, a different style sheet listed here. So you want to make sure that you're using the style sheet that you want to do. I also just because I'm an AR type of person, um, I want to make sure that my styles here match up with the styles that I've imported in from uh, Word. So actually I screwed that up right there. I want my first paragraph to be, it's not listed. Okay. Well, apparently I didn't pull in the correct I must have lost something somewhere because this is supposed to say um, J1413 dash body text, no indent. And then I want to, so obviously I'm going to have to go back and figure out what I did wrong there, but I'll change the styles here to match up the styles that I use in the document. And I will actually go through and I will save everything i'll remove out um, documents or rather formats that i don't use and which is quite a few and i don't know if there's a bulk deletion here but maybe oh if i edit it no um julian <laughs> maybe a bulk <laughs> format deletion tell me how to do it or add it in if it's not already in here. Uh, so I will then, once I've gotten this down to everything that I need, which is basically just these three formats uh, for my clients, I'm then going to save this config file as um, Juto example. Big example. And practical styles. I want to check back and make sure it took. Yep. So then I have to go in and I have to uh, make changes to um, the configuration for each particular 
format that I'm going to be exporting uh, a book for. And I just make sure that the styles, see, I have to set it for Kindle again. So do that here. And I'll have to do it for EPUB, I think, three. Yep. So any any format that you're going to show here for configuration, you need to make sure that whatever you're using it for it is going to be um, all the config configurations that you want to go with this particular format are all set. Um, as you can see here, I have a the word Kindle after the book file name so that I know it's a Kindle file as opposed to say an EPUB file. I don't do this often enough, but if it helps you, then awesome. If not, make sure that you are talking with Julian in the group um, and talk to, him, talk to him all the time because he's awesome and he has created not only just the great um, awesome software, but he's super helpful in the group in terms of explaining things for you and pointing out where you need to go. I just tend to be a visual learner and needed something for my own personal use. So if it helps you, then awesome. If not, um, I, I got nothing. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching.